Hello, this is teacher Erin Lee. I'm sitting in a, another student no-show. It's the same student that um, has had technical difficulties the last two classes, and today she hasn't shown up at all. Um, so uh, I figured I would make use of this time, this paid break. Um, you know, as VIP Kid teachers, I don't think any of us are like glad to not see our students, but we work really hard and we're tired and we get up early and stay up late. And sometimes it's not so bad to have a paid break um, and just kind of hang out. I stand when I teach and right now I'm sitting uh, and resting my feet for a few minutes um, while we start this video. But um, what I wanted to show you today is how I have my classroom set up. Um, I uh, stand, like I said, while I teach. So I have some um, little gadgets and things that I use that make that possible. Um, and I have some things that I keep uh, nearby I think she's having more technical difficulty because she just popped up and I saw like the ceiling and then she went away again. So that's why I stopped and now I'm gonna try to keep recording. We're already 16 minutes into a 25 minute class. So even if she's able to get it together, there's not a whole lot that we can cover in that amount of time. But with VIP Kid, these, what, for what these parents spend um, for these classes, if they show up with five minutes left of class, we teach them for five minutes. Um, so it's a paid break, but you have to hang out um, and you know for the whole 25 minutes, unless it's a trial. And then you only have to stay for, I think it's 15, 10 or 15, I'll have to check on that. Um, so let me give you a quick little tour um, of my uh, little desk setup here um, and my classroom. Um, so I'm gonna uh, turn this around, hold on. Okay, so I'll have to get back around so I can see if she comes in a minute, but this is, that's my breakfast, and those are our guinea pigs. Yes, they hang out in my office, and they saw me, so they always think food. Hey, keep it down. Okay, so this is my desk. I have uh, a neat little stacker over here, and these are my props. Let's see, oh, she's still not there, okay. And um, I keep uh, my shirts, and yes, that is a bra. Um, hanging over there so that I can switch out. This is my background. And this is the stand um, that I got that I can make my, uh, basically make my desk a standing desk. Um, I can have my laptop up so that I can stand while I teach. Um, so we'll come around here so you can see it kind of from my view. Um, this is a selfie light. Um, I didn't set it up today for whatever reason. I guess I just forgot. Um, but it does actually, I clip it on there turn it on and it gives a little bit more light um, on me um, so that I have optimal lighting um, for class. But we'll turn off right now so it's not bothersome for the video. Um, yes, this is also a guest room uh, that is kind of in progress. That picture will eventually be hung and there's a curtain rod and you know, hey, there's a to-do list, um, that's life. Um, so this is kind of my setup. What's nice also about the um, stand for my laptop is that I have room underneath um, to set up props um, and things like that. Um, I have a wireless um, keyboard so that if I uh, have just had a bunch of classes and want to sit down to type some feedback, I can just sit without having to take down my whole rig um, and bring the laptop down and everything. I can leave it set up how I want it. So um, I always have, of course, water and coffee. You should have both. Don't just drink coffee, as tempting as that is. Dino, duh. Uh, I have a plant that I usually remember to water. Um, wireless mouse, um, you just, you know, you wanna make sure that you keep batteries um, nearby. I have some in my drawer down here. Although, you know, worst case scenario, if it went out in the middle of class, I would just have to use um, the touchpad instead. Um, over here, I keep lipstick because it makes you look a lot more awake um, to wear lipstick. I have a cute little hair clip from Boverwhelmed, boverwhelmed.com, check them out, she's awesome. Um, a little extra breakfast snack. Um, in case I need to munch something down in between class. Um, over here, I've got some dry erase pens and stuff. This is just tack stuff um, and files, but over here I keep um, these slots so that if I need to prep for a few classes, I have spaces to lay each of them. And I also have slots back here too. And who doesn't need some cute little ears uh, for your younger students? Um, Cause they really enjoy that. So that's that. These are some really fun a uh, little dry erase, um, like speech bubbles and stuff. And especially with the younger um, students, I will write their vocab words 
on these. And then if we get to the part of the lesson where they should really be able to produce the word themselves, but they're having a hard time, I can just kind of be like, cat, yeah, and kind of assist a little bit. So um, I keep these within arm's reach. I um, am going to do a video very soon. It's just a little more involved to do, so I haven't done it quite yet. Um, I haven't had the time. Uh, sleep has been a major priority in this transition to full time, but I'm gonna do um, a video on how I use Manicam, but that is why I don't have a lot of props. You will see that I have those and I have this and my dry erase boards. That is pretty much it. I just got these new puppets uh, at Target and I couldn't help myself, they're so cute. Look, they have little um, capes on, little dog and a little bear and the bandit fox. Just adorable. Um, but anyway, I keep a microphone handy um, to sing the intro songs with the younger students. I keep these Melissa and Doug magnetic letters, lowercase and uppercase handy. And I have the Melissa and Doug magnetic animals that I keep handy. Um, basically any props that I keep around are props that would be very commonly used in a lot of lower level classes um, that would be helpful to just have at an arm's reach. Um, I have a few shapes down here, blocks that I stole from my son, a ball. You will see a ball in a ton of lessons. And these are really handy. I use these for blending CVC. I might write like AT on one of these and then you have like C, D, B. And then you can just turn one of them and help them blend. Cat, cat, bat, cat, whatever. Um, I also keep a couple different flashcards here. I don't use those very often because like I said, with Manicam and then I have these um, handy. They were just so cheap on Amazon that I decided to get those too. Dry erase boards are super handy. Um, I use the big one, honestly, most of the time for teacher versus student rewards where I am keeping track of our score um, on there. Um, so that is pretty much it. I have a window um, right here that once it's light out, lets in some pretty good light. Um, I have that light over there and the overhead light. And I do, like I said, sometimes use this when it's early in the morning and it's you know dark out still to give me another um, little bit of light. Now, because I'm standing when I teach, so I have my class set up on a corner. Oh, that's my heater because I'm a wimp. Um, and I do that because I feel like it gives the illusion of more space um, when I teach and it gives me standing more room to kind of work in um, there. Um, but this chair doesn't easily obviously get out of here. It would literally be like moving furniture. And so I decided that I would just tuck it, um, just tuck it back here. And uh, that way I could kind of pop a squat when I wanted to. She's not here, so I'm just gonna show you. So this is what the classroom looks to the students, looks like to the students. So I can move, I can pretend to run. I have a lot of room to move and um, be more interactive and do like some really big TPR um, for my students. So I really like that. Um, this is um, what I use for teaching. This is Manny Cam. Yeah, see I can, I have a signature move. Do you want to see it? Yeah, so I'll show you my signature move. Ready? When they get a star, I do star for Mary, star for Mary and they love it and they sing along with me. Like after I do it the first time, they're already singing along with me. They love it. Um, so that is Manny Cam. And so when I have a class like this where the student is not there, she's not showing up, I can switch it to this. Then it just scrolls. My name is teacher Erin, welcome to class. So that, you know, I can chill back, pick my nose, whatever. Uh, and if they show up, they don't catch me mid pick or something, you know? I'm obviously just kidding guys, so relax. Um, <laughs> so we're at 24 minutes, 48 seconds. So obviously she's not gonna make it um, for any of this class, but I show you all of this to show you that there are very um, different ways that you can be a VIP kid teacher. Some teachers have walls of shelves of props. When they get done teaching, you know, five classes, they have just props everywhere. Um, from all the fun that they had um, in class. Um, I'm gonna end class because she didn't come and it's over 25 minutes. Um, but you don't have to do it that way. Um, I am what I would consider a minimalist. Um, when it comes to props, I keep handy just the few things that I think would be helpful. Um, if I wanted a physical, tangible prop, 
um, and everything else that I do is digital. Um, so, you know, there are definitely ways to not, um, number one, store. If you don't have a lot of space, if you don't have a dedicated space to teach, having all of those props and where do you keep them could be a stress. You don't have to teach that way. If you want to, do it, that's great. If you're crafty and creative and you love to come up with your own rewards and, you know, show those to your students, that's awesome too but it's not a requirement. There are several different ways um, to, to approach this and still be a great teacher. Um, so don't be afraid if you are seeing um, some of these classroom setups and the way that some of these teachers do this and you know they have a lot of um, stuff and a lot of props and you're thinking, where you know, all the money that they spent and all the, you know, storage space and it could be very overwhelming. You don't have to do it that way. Um, so uh, today is Tuesday. I think that I might have some time today or tomorrow. Um, and I'm gonna try to do a really good video that shows you how I use Manicam in the classroom and how it makes my life super easy. The students love it. And it keeps, it cuts down on my prep time, on my prop uh, needs. Um, so I'm gonna show you that. So whether you are considering being a teacher and you, you wanna know that this option is there um, for you to develop your teaching style, or if you are already a teacher and you're like, I wanna know what this Manicam is all about, it's coming. Um, I'm making a promise right now, it's coming. I'm gonna get that video done. It's just been a little daunting. Y'all, teacher Erin Lee is tired. Um, the students being out of school, the demand for classes has been very high. I was planning because I'm a mom and I have to take care of my son during the day. So the teachers that do overnights and teach 18, 20 classes a night, I can't because I can't sleep during the day. I have to take care of my little boy. So I was planning on just teaching in the mornings from like four till eight or nine once um, we spring forward in April. April? No, March. Um, but uh, I um, have been teaching at night too, all week. Um, so last night I didn't finish teaching until 11 and I was back up at 3.30. That's kind of tough. and. I don't think I could do that long term. Um, I'm starting like last, yesterday. I like I hit a wall. I really did. I was running around with my kid at this uh, forest school, and I was really tired. And um, so I don't think that I'm going to do all of that next week. Um, a little cut and pay sometimes to salvage your um, sanity and your health is okay. Just remember, you usually book out about two weeks at a time. So don't open a slot unless you're sure you want to teach it. You could always open it short notice. Um, and try to get it um, last minute and make an extra two dollars from that class. So thank you guys for watching. Um, when I do the mani cam uh, video, I think that I'll show you how I interact um, with my props and stuff when I do use them as well. Um, it'll be a little tricky. I've been trying to think how I'm going to show you without um, a classroom. Uh, that'll be a little bit interesting, but I'll find a way for you to at least get an idea. And I do have some clips from classes that I can try to black out my student's face and show you a little bit of what it looks like in class. Um, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks as always for watching. If you are in the middle of applying or thinking of applying and you don't have a referral or a coach or a mentor to help you, please reach out to me. You can comment below. You can reach out to me by email on social media. Everything is down below and please use my referral code. I appreciate it. See you guys soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.